you who have waited for a long and painful time for broken ribs to heal it takes a long time well this is another one some familiar technology now being used is a, in a new way to quickly fix that cage of bones in our chest and BYU's Riley Nelson should listen to this and probably could use this new specialist Ed Yates shows us more a patient injured in a fall or an accident comes into ER with several broken and or fractured ribs the old conventional traditional way of treatment lots of pain medication and patience and time waiting for the bones to heal. In the winter That's what Ken Manzanares was facing after the horse he was riding slipped out from under him on a slick canyon trail. He slammed against an embankment and broke five ribs. In talking to trauma surgeon Don Van Borum at the Intermountain Medical Center, they were displaced like this uh, and then he showed me the x-rays to how they had where they were displaced like that. And he says that's how you'd lose part of your breathing capacity if they healed like that. This is that x-ray showing the breaks in Ken's ribs. Allowing displaced bones like these to heal on their own is not only uncomfortable but often risky. Some patients never fully recover while others become addicted to pain medications. Many require a breathing machine for two weeks or longer. Which seems crazy to, to think that someone would still do that uh, when there's an alternative to getting someone off the breathing machine and out of the hospital sooner. Ken Manzanares opted for a new approach called rib plating. Through small incisions at the break sites, Dr. Van Borum spanned the broken ribs with tailor-made titanium plates. While the technology is similar to mending legs or arms, the novel rib plates mimic the ribs. They move while you breathe but hold firm at the site of the break. Recovery. Uh, most of the patients are out of the hospital within about four or five days. That seems to be the, the average. Immediately following the surgery, Ken felt no rib pain. And instead of what could be as much as four to six months of slow healing, he was back to work within a few weeks. I feel no pain. I have no issues. I do hard labor now as far as with the county, you know, pouring concrete. So. And he's back fully involved with a hobby he loves, rebuilding classic saddles. As far as riding in that saddle again? A month. I was doing it probably back on a horse in a month. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News, West Jordan. Thanks, Ed. Surgeons at Intermountain Medical Center are working with other hospitals around the country, sharing what could be the most comprehensive data collected so far on this rib plating. They're also refining the procedure, hoping to make it even less invasive than it is right now. And it sounds like they're making great progress. It certainly does. All right.